Media in Excel is a wonderful mod for Diablo 2, and perhaps my favorite game of all time. It's still alive and very enjoyable, even in 2024, and I was very pleased to see that people have been working hard to make the graphics more pleasant. All that said, setting up Media in Excel is a surprisingly non-trivial task. In this video, I aim to provide a complete guide to setting up Media in Excel, starting completely from scratch. Roughly, the steps will be 1. Installing the original Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction games. 2. Installing Median XL via the Median XL launcher. 3. Installing the graphics plugins to improve the quality of the graphics. And optionally, step 4, playing online. So let's get started with installing the base games. In order to install the base Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction games, not the resurrected versions, you can navigate to your Battle.net account, click on Games and Subscriptions, and scroll to the bottom where you find the Classic Games section. There you'll find a link to download Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction. This will take you to a page with two links, each of which will download installers for Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction. Once you've downloaded these, run first the base Diablo 2 installer and install the game. This will happen relatively quickly. When this is complete, then do the same for the Lord of Destruction installer. Now we will edit the Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction shortcut to make sure we run as administrator, launch the game, and connect to Battle.net in order to get the latest patch of the game. Once this is done, you will get a message that it succeeded, and now you have the original Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction installed. Next, download the Median XL installer, which I have linked in the description of this video, and run it, which will install the Median XL launcher. Once the launcher is installed, run launcher.exe in order to open up the Median XL launcher. From here, you can select where you want the Median XL game to be located, and click install. And once it's done, you will see that the launcher says play. Once the install completes, you will see that there's a new folder in the install location called median-xl, and we'll go in there to edit the compatibility settings for game.exe and diablo2.exe to run in compatibility mode for service pack three and as an administrator. Now, if you click play, you should see the game launch successfully. You'll be able to create a new character and you will be in the world of Median XL. But now let's work on improving the graphics. To do this, download the release.zip file from the D2GLMXL GitHub link, and then copy the files in this zip file directly into the Median XL install location, overwriting existing files. If you have issues with files being in use, make sure that you close all of your Median XL or Diablo 2 related games and then try again. After you've done this, you may notice that the launcher wants to update the game again. If that's the case, click update and then click on the cogwheel to edit the settings. Then click the exclamation point triangle and select both checkboxes below that. After doing this, we will again copy the contents of release.zip into our Median XL directory and overwrite. And now hopefully when we go back to the Median XL launcher, it should just say play. So let's launch the game. And once we're in the game, press Control O to bring up this video options menu. Here in the screen tab, I recommend checking full screen. And then in the features tab, I recommend checking HD cursor, HD text, and motion prediction. In the graphics tab in the middle, there are a lot of options but I ended up going for the advanced anti-aliasing three pass filter. Choose this if you like, or play around with all the other ones if you wanna see what the other options are. But with all that configured, now you should have Median XL with decent FPS, with decent graphics, and be ready to play. If you wanna play online, it's actually quite easy to do that now. You can just create an account within the game UI itself. And once you've created an account, you'll be able to create a character, join a game, and so on. The one thing that I recommend looking at is the game servers. So you can type slash servers to see a list of all the game servers that are available. And then you can scroll through that and find one that you think is located near you, and then use the slash gs space number command to select a particular game server to be your preferred game server. Then once you enter a game, you will see a welcome message confirming that you have entered a game hosted by this particular server. And now you should be ready to play Median XL online, single player, wherever you want, with reasonable graphics, without any headache inducing lag or FPS problems, 
and really be able to enjoy the fun, complex mechanics of this wonderful game.